Yes, he is. Package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Rank Collector! Welcome people, welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to talk about the Game Prince, or just the RS1. It's a uh, pretty common handheld, it's an 8-bit handheld and it is one of the cheap ass line. Yeah, it only contains 8-bit games and yeah, building classic games. Then is the question, how many? Hmm. The box is a little bit bust up. I purchased the one only with batteries supported. Um, there is no lithium battery pack inside of this version. Uh, Alright, let's do a little bit of an unboxing. Let's inside. Hmm. Hmm. It feels really nice. It's not a solid D-pad, so for adventure games it's just fine, but one thing is for sure if you want to play fighting games with it, that is going to be a problem. This is a cheap ass version, the funny thing is this one got a TV out. There is no cable, uh, it's a 2.5 inch jack foam connector, so that's a little bit hard to find. Shall we power it on? And let's see what's happening. Because the thing makes me really excited. Yeah! So let's do a little bit of a volume adjusting here at the right bottom. You've got a uh, menu and you need to press start. Alright. Ah! Contra 1, Super Mario, Ninja Turtles, Chip and Dale 2. Well, the first laser is pretty, uh, pretty damn nice. Got some good games. Double Dragon 2 and 3. Kung Fu, and if you can't read it, uh, it says 152 and 1, so yeah, I don't believe it, but let's go through the list. Ah, overall not bad, not bad at all. Batman 1, hmm. Aladdin 3, the homebrew version. Doo -doo -doo. Mario 2, ah, oh, that's an hack version. I already see some double games, like the old school 90s multi-game card. So uh, yeah, maybe more of the order, nah, double games, I wouldn't say that, but yeah, there are a little bit of hack games. So let's do some gameplay and let's see how the games are running. Um, the first thing I'm noticing is that the screen is not bad, but yeah, the colors are a little bit faded out. So it's not, a, yeah, what can you expect from $10? All right. Hmm. But that doesn't sound horrible. Hmm. What a response, very nice. Doot, doot, doot. Let's go! It's me, Emma. So, alright. <clears throat> I'm going to need some practice. A little bit of screen sharing. The turbo one is so useless. Oh yeah! Tell me to do Gundam style! Dun, 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 dun. Alright, next game. And this one is for you, well, child. You're really going to love these games, aren't you? So, well, child, this one is for you! We you really love these Chippendale games. Uh, version 1 is not on the system, so yeah, that's a bummer for him. <laughs> Oh, you cannot. Yeah, I'm a little, bit, little bit of screen tearing if you look closely. Oh. Oh. Ah. And the system got actually the Double Dragon 2 game. Oh yeah. Now the turbo button comes in handy. No, no, no. Alright, I suck at this game, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. 
So let's do it to a final conclusion because I know enough about the system. So yeah people, for the final conclusion about the RS1. I have reviewed a lot of cheap ass portable systems, but if you're searching for a cheap ass system for your children or just for to have or for your collection, whatever, this one is pretty damn nice. I think this is one of the best I reviewed uh, of all the portable systems for the cheap ass version. Let's be clear about one thing. The thing costs around ten dollars, and yeah, the screen is not the best. It got a little bit of screen tearing, but the games that are built inside are damn nice. They are very nice. Yeah, I've got a little bit too big hands for the for the handheld, but. For the children is just fine. It's really cool. Reset start. Just put out the basic top. And even got the TV out. So yeah for an 8-bit system. This is going to be one of my favorite ones. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And people stay strong. Stay positive. And stay wicked. And game on. Bye bye. See you next video. Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.